Hello, hello, lovely people of YouTube. Sorry, I didn't realise it wasn't my opening screen, but never mind. You got to see my puzzled face for a few seconds. Right, <laughs> hello, Martina. Hello, Valerie, Linda, Sally. And Lisa. Hello, everybody. She's Linda's wanting to get the coffee. I know, I'm, I'm not on the coffee. Yes. I'd be up all night. But um, yeah, lovely to see you guys. So uh, traditionally Wednesday, stamp one sheet wonder Wednesday. That's what we're kind of going for today. Mixing it up a bit, using a kind of old faithful stamp, mixing it with a pretty new one and seeing what happens. Because you know me, I can pick two stamp sets, but then the stamping goodness happens, isn't it? And you don't know what might happen. Hello, Terry Dell'Amico from Florida. Hello, Shaz. Is Lisa snowed in? Oh, Lisa Hartman. Oh, Lisa snowed in. Lots of love and thoughts to folks in New Zealand. Um, I have a, one of my bezies. One of my bezies moved to New Zealand. So I've been getting updates from her. Um, her and her family are okay, but she was saying that um, there are folks without water without electricity and um they they've got water trucks going around giving out water to folks to, and you know the food's being rationed and stuff so please say a prayer for those very affected by the floods and the cyclones and things in the south pacific i know it's not just new zealand i know it's australia as well so there we go you already are up all night <laughs> thanks sheila Hello, Mary Beth. Lovely to see you. It's been a little while. Hello, Darlene. Hello, Melissa. Hello, Claire. Who else has popped in? Oh, lovely to see you all. Okay, anyone got any favourite colours they want to see me use today? Um, speak now. You've got a few seconds. I'll sh I'll show you the stamp sets that I've decided to use, and then um, we'll go from there. Might add some extra bits into this. So we've got art gallery which um, I, I do use a lot in a particular class that I teach. Hello, Debbie. Hello, Sharon. Oh, love your one dangle earring. You know what? I, um, that's not intentional. It's fallen out. Um, it, it got caught on my scarf in the supermarket. Then I thought I managed to pop it in. And now I've realised I've lost one because you've just mentioned it. So, um... I probably will find it somewhere. It might be in the car. I don't know. Yes, no, it wasn't in it wasn't intentional, the one dangle earring. But there we go. If if you want to carry on thinking of me as some, you know, hip trendy thing, that's fine. Hello, Karen Newby. Orchid Oasis. Blues and yellows. Oh, that'd be a nice oh yes, should we do blues and yellows? That would be nice. You know what happens when yellow and blue mix up together? They 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 get together and they have a baby called green. <laughs> That's the only thing about blues and yellows. And oh, what else am I thinking? I'm wondering whether a bit of artistically inked mic might look good. grabbing a couple more off my shelf just in case you know just in case hello miss ivy and who's that cheeky oh cheeky <laughs> cheeky monkey hello carolyn kirk hi ruth and everyone first time to catch her live in a bit yes yes i think i do recognize your name from previous lives hello linda devine oh lovely to see you all thanks for saying hello as well on the live to see you right let's just lay a bit of color down shall we don't need the mat actually just for a second i'm using the uh fetal pig again oh martina didn't have her afternoon nap oh dear 
She's only on half form today then. I can't unsee this fetal pig now. I mean, you know, the problem is once you've seen it, you've seen it. Okay, so that is ooh, so saffron, yes, so saffron. And do I want anything else in there? While I'm here with the yellow, because I do find if you can sort of plan where your lighter colours are going, it's actually helpful to put your lighter colours down first. Because sometimes when you stamp lighter colours over dark colours, they can reactivate the dark colours and kind of start spreading them around a bit. So I'm just going to kind of wing it and guess that I might need some yellow up here. And um, just kind of go for it really. There we go. Lost my stream. Lost my stream there. Um, Linda ate too much popcorn. Oh no! How did you eat too much pop? Is it is it possible to eat too much popcorn? I don't know. I just figured it's mostly air. So. <laughs> uh, hi Cheryl. <laughs> I'm just laughing at Martina's comment. I'm not going to read it out. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yes. Well, I was I was stamping it in pink last night, Martina. I don't know if you've seen that video. It definitely did look like... We call it the FP because I, I don't want to keep saying the word because it's a little bit disturbing. <laughs> the FP, we'll call it from now on. Right, shall I go for, shall I go for a nice big br bright blue with a nice big flower? Oh, I do love an afternoon nap, says Claire. I do too, as long as I wake myself up from getting too far into deep sleep. If I... If I uh, do have a nap, I try and just set myself a 20 minute alarm but, and then it's absolutely fatal if I ignore the alarm. If I ignore the alarm, I end up napping for three hours and I feel like death warmed up afterwards. I hate it. Right, so please forgive me. I accidentally re-inked my Orchid Oasis yesterday with Starry Sky and so this colour that you're seeing before you it's basically a blend of Orchid Oasis and Starry Sky. That's why it's looking particularly blue today. Sorry about that, everybody. So for those of you who don't know, Orchid Oasis and Starry Sky are these gorgeous blues that we have in our palette at the moment with Stampin' Up. But Orchid Oasis normally is much lighter than Starry Sky, but... As for reasons I've just explained, I uh, you may not find that look today. Just doing a stamped off. Oh no, I'll do that again. That's better. There we go. Yeah, caffeine wakes you up after twenty minutes. Oh, you know what? Next time I take a nap. And I have done this before. I drink coffee before my nap. Yes, that's right. Look what Linda just said. Yes, have coffee before you nap. And then when you wake up after 20 minutes, the coffee's kicked in and it wakes you up better. 
Good plan. Orchid Sky and Starry Oasis. It is indeed, Melissa. Yes. We're, we're, we're renaming them tonight. So, because I fear that my Starry Sky is not going to be dark enough, because of the aforementioned problem, <laughs> that I don't need to be reminded about, um, I am going to use Knight of Navy. I'm going to stamp the second stamp over the top, lift it slightly and stamp again. This is something that I tend to do with this stamp an awful lot. I, I don't like just stamping it once. I like to stamp and twist and stamp again. So we need to now sing a Beach Boys song. Let's stamp again. Let's twist. Oh, no, it's more like let's twist and stamp like we did last summer. Let's twist and stamp like we stamped before. Do you remember when we wouldn't do second generation? <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Looking good. So I'm stamping off on my scrap paper for my lighter flowers here. Da, da, da. I can't wait for that day that I can nap again. Oh, I, I hear you, Jen. I hear you. We might need to just, you know, arrange a day where I can entertain certain people so that you can nap. I'm near, oh, uh, oh, the wrong, chubby, oh, chubby checker and the fat boys. Yes, yes, sorry, wrong, wrong group. Right, I like it, I like it. I think we need some leafage into here now. A little bit of leafage. Gonna go back to the good old artistically inked because this is a really good one just to get a background colour in. And I used this last night actually. And I make no apologies for using it again because when you know when you're stamping, you know, with a different combination of leaves, it it just works, doesn't it? And you know, I, I make no apology of returning to certain stamp sets again and again because you know if a stamp set just works for, for what you do and your style. Just do it, you know. So, as you can see, I'm just kind of like filling in a bit there. Um, oh, my husband's just replied to a message I sent him 15 minutes ago that I already have the answer for. Yes, I can, Sheila. The problem was that last night during the live, I couldn't just sort of disappear off to my kitchen to do it. So I ended up just taking off as much as I could and then, yeah, re-inking. I think what I may do is actually just order another Orchid Oasis re-inker if they're still in stock. Oh, no, those that will definitely be in stock, won't they? Um, I'll order another Orchid Oasis re-inker and, yeah, give it a wash out because, you know, I've got to use it for another year and a bit, haven't I? So, hello, Miss Janine. What's the question? Nobody does stamping up. What? They do scrapbooking and that's not for me. So very lonely doing it alone. Oh, Linda, where are you? Um... 
Oh, come and hang out with us. But no, I'd appreciate if you want to meet up with people in real life. It's tricky if they don't do what you do. But, you know, the, there's lots of crossover. I, I do have some videos where I do scrapbooking. And I use the product, same products that I use for card making as for scrapbooking. So... Um, mm, 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 mm. Um, so I'm just seeing if I've got to answer any questions, but no, I think you're just talking amongst yourselves. All right, so I've got a little bit of a boo boo here. I didn't mean to get this yellow on here, but never mind, it's on there now. Um, oh yes right i definitely want to use these i'm not entirely sure how yet i do quite like the curvy one this one hmm Yeah, that could look quite nice. But that's I feel like that's one of the last things that needs to go on. So in the meantime, I think I'm going to use this. Now, this stamp here, this one, I have done some stamp surgery to. I'm wondering whether to do a bit more of surgery. Hmm. Can I live with it? What about some balmy blue? Or should we go pool party? Brighten it up a bit. What do you think? Balmy or pool? Balmy or pool? Oh, I saw you were going for a ride today, Sheila. Did you have fun? Melissa says she's just discovered a co-worker who makes cards. Excellent. Just finished watching your prior video and here is another. Yay! <laughs> and you're live. Yeah, her spider. For those of you who don't know, Miss Sheila B has this amazing like motorcycle thing that she goes tearing around the Arkansas countryside in. Watch out, Sheila's a bat. <laughs> Pool party, okay. You got in there quick, says Car Carolyn. Pool party. Linda Devine, don't worry, you will get infected here and you will never ever want anything else, something else. <laughs> oh, I, lo I love how you just tell everybody, you know, keeping it real. Don't come to this channel if you don't want to get addicted to stamping. <laughs> ah, right. Hmm. Hmm, not sure if I have space for that. Okay, let's try this way. Try that one. Ah, oh, there we go. That fits. How far did you go, Sheila? Hello, Elfie Cron. Welcome, welcome. I have a friend called Elfie. Such a pretty name. from Ontario all the Canadians in the house say hey hey oh Miss Glenn has just sent me a message you can't watch tonight So 
saw a picture of you on your motorbike, Sheila. It did put me in mind of a Valkyrie. A thin one, mind. <laughs> I think that's a compliment, Sheila. <laughs> Love it. Hello, Valerie Zimmerman, peeling potatoes for dinner. Awesome. Right, I like to put some extra texture onto these flowers here. So what I'll do is I want to, I think I'll stamp, ink it up with Orchid Oasis. Um, just, just stamp it off because I, I quite like this colour here. Because I think if I do it full strength, let me just test it out. It's always worth testing out your hypotheses. Alright, let's just see. I've got a few, oh no, wrong one. Put that one away, Ruth. Don't need that one now. I do it full strength on that one. Oh yeah, the stamped off version looks better. Right, so stamp off, stamp, stamp, stamp off, stamp, stamp, stamp off, stamp, stamp, stamp off. When you're doing this, you do have to kind of almost repeat to yourself the process because sometimes you can get your fingers will get muddled up with what you're meant to be doing. So stamp off, stamp, stamp, stamp off, stamp, stamp, stamp off, stamp, stamp, stamp off, stamp. Oh, see. Because I twiddled, I forgot. So I'm just going to add a little bit of full strength to some of these now. Oh, well, it's not too bad. Stamp, stamp. Stamp, stamp. Stamp, stamp. Oh, I nearly did it again. All right, there we go. Looking pretty. We did a class on this, stamping your own DSP today, and my girls loved it. Fantastic, good. It is super fun. When you get in the rhythm. Right, now I have got that little leaf that I cut off from Art Gallery, but I have got some other, I think, prettier leaves that could go in. So I may just... I think I'll leave that one for a minute. For example, I've got this lovely leaf here. So this is Wisteria Wishes, which is a really... It's a nice... Um, one if you like wisteria obviously right i'm gonna go i think for some granny apple green oh sorry just adjusting my seat i'm gonna adjust my camera as well just realize it's on a tilt that's better so pretty i did one with my class once and they loved it i love yours more because you filled it in more than i Ah, well, each, you know, there are times where I don't completely fill it. There are times when I completely obliterate the paper. So it's, there's no right or wrong. But uh, yeah, keep playing and discovering what you like. That That's the trick to this. It's not a one and done technique. It's, you know, I've, I've been stamping this way for three or four years. Or well, actually, tell a lie, I... It came up somehow on my YouTube that the first stamp one sheet wonder I did, one sheet wonder Wednesday, sorry, was about seven years ago. So this technique has sort of taken seven years to, well, sorry, no, I'll rephrase that. 
what you see today is the result of playing for seven years so if you do this and you think i don't like it it's not like ruth did it uh that's because you just need to play a bit more and it's okay to keep playing keep discovering what the stamps will do keep discovering what you like what colors you like what combinations of um, foliage and flowers and whatever and you know if you want a jump start on the process it's worth coming to one of my classes because I'm able to kind of help you with the process but generally if you keep watching my videos and keep playing yourself you will get there And if you don't like something before you bin it, I mean, I don't ever advise you bin your stamping, but before you metaphorically bin it, um, look at what it is that you don't like about it. Don't go and just repeat the same mistakes. Look at it and go, what do I not like? Why don't I like it? Is it the colours? Is it the shapes? You know, what is something being hidden? Is something not being accentuated? And then when you've looked at it and decided you don't like it, see if you can change it. And if you can't change it, then cut it up, make some cards, put a sentiment over your boo-boos and you'll be fine. Right, so I like that smaller leaf going in there on top. It just gives it um, the oh debbie yes i'm sorry to hear about your hubby i i was in a live where you mentioned it yeah oh, i'm glad he's on the mend that's good maybe add a bit of wispy lavender or pink Ooh. that's a good idea i am not quite at that point yet because i've still got to add all that lovely wisp wispy the decorative borders have still got to go in here yet. Right, so I want to put this in. But I think I might not ink it all. Knight of Navy here waiting in the wings. Ooh, Janet's in Hamilton and I love Weirton. I never got into scrapbooking, my sister and I, but I am the card lady. Ooh, baby, Janet M and Liv Linda could, uh, you know, hang out. That'd be great. So if, um, <laughs> If this sometimes this does happen, guys, where you you you're in the chat and you go, oh, so and so lives near me, blah blah blah. Please don't ever give away your personal addresses on my lives, but a way around it, if you cannot find each other, say on social media like Facebook or something, then you are welcome just to email me and say, please pass my email address to such and such a person, um, for them to email me. And I'm happy to do that. If the other person reciprocates and says, here's my email address, please pass it to so-and-so. So if that does happen, please just let me know. And um, I, I'm happy to, you know, be the go-between, the safe go-between. Y'all, don't be putting up your email addresses in public, please. I mean, I know I do, but that's a bit different. I'm allowed. <laughs> But not on my lives, please. You live more than three hours apart. Oh, well, you know, both drive half an hour and a half and you'll be in each other's company. I nearly said in each other's arms, but, you know, you don't really don't know each other that well yet. <laughs>
This is such a pretty stamp. So I'm not, I'm ignoring that little flower down there. Sorry, shh, don't tell it. But, um, I'm just wanting to put movement into this. Bit of curvy, curvy stuff. Oh, I've got a nice big space for that. I wonder if I could fit in more there. Oh, I can. Okay, before I do that, though, I'll put another one in there. This sheet reminds me of a certain sheet a few years ago, based on a Jules print coat you had. Oh, does it? Funny enough, and it's it's sort of similar cut. Mm, oh no, it's not similar colours. It's very bright yellow, and I now teach a class based on that event. That's very sweet of you to remember because that was quite a pivotal. Uh, there's different videos that I've done that have ended up being very pivotal in my not pivotal. Yeah, maybe pivotal's word. Uh, significant, significant in my um kind of stamping career as it were uh, where i've kind of figured something out or discovered something and then i've ended up now teaching it as a class so that particular video is one of those so very sweet of you to remember it thanks terry greg watch ruth every wednesday Ha, huh, he loves to watch me try to do one sheet wonders because I mess up and say, Ruth, help! <laughs> Brilliant! Oh, actually, if anyone um is super duper stuck, um, do what a friend of mine did the other day. She sent me a picture of something she'd done and I literally I download I downloaded it and put it into my um program my graphics program and then I kind of added flowers where in the colour that I thought she should do it. And then sent it back to her <laughs> digitally, of course. Um, and then, you know, it was up to her if she wanted to copy it. I think she she sort of, you know, she sort of did. Um, and she was much happier with it. So, um, yeah, but don't don't all email at once because uh, I might have to start charging for that service. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I don't mind doing it every so often if someone's super duper stuck. Or if you put it on Artful Stamp, actually, if you put it on Artful Stamp in Space, my Facebook group, and tag me in it, um, either Artful Stampin' or Ruth Trice Magnus. Um, I can, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll put it back. I'll, I'll return the picture with the additions that I would do uh, in public because it might benefit other people as well. So, but if, you know, if you're shy and you don't want me to do that, that's fine. Just email me. Right, I like that. It leaves a bit of space now for, for some extra bits because um, what have I got here? I've got these little leaves. I've got this lovely dingle dangle, but I don't think I've got space for the dingle dangle. Talking of dingle dangle, um, had a parent and toddlers today, parent and toddler group at our church, and there's a song that we sing called Dingle Dangle Scarecrow. <laughs> I'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat. Dottage, and he's dottage. You wouldn't have time for these lies if we all asked you to do that long. Well, what if? Ooh, that's given me an idea, Georgiana. Um, what if those of you who wanted me to, if you send me photographs of your one sheet wonders. I could do a specific live where I go through them and then you can watch me add things to it just to help you out. That's an idea for a lot. I'm always trying to think of new live ideas. And I think I might be onto a winner there. Ooh, what about a little bit of scripty dotage? one i'm sleep watching says Carol caroline's not really here everybody she's sleep watching if i put that there i'm gonna to have to put some bees on this now aren't i what do you think i 
do think I have to. I, th I think the script would look lovely. Um, I just, um, this, I just need something else. I'm wondering whether there's a little yellow flowers or something. Ooh, there are these. I haven't used Daffodil Delight yet, and I do fancy using a bit of Daffodil. Sheila thinks it's a good idea. There we go. Okay, so if anybody... Because my husband the other day said... Because uh, we were talking about, oh yeah, and I can hide that boo-boo there. He was saying, oh, um, we were talking about ideas for future videos. And he said, oh, do you ever do Q&A? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. Although I pretty much do Q&A every time I go live. But no, sorry, I have done a, the occasional video where you guys ask. I'm just talking to the camera and you guys are asking me questions. I do do that occasionally. So tick, done that one. But yeah, it'd be like Dr. Ruth for Stamp One Sheet Wonders. Oh, I could call my, I could call the videos Dr. Ruth. <laughs> sorry, might end up with very different viewership, mightn't I? So for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. Um, Ruth's new consulting business. But what is sleep watching? Oh, I, th I, think, I think Caroline is half asleep. I think she's in bed. And you know, have you ever watched like something on your phone as you're falling asleep and yeah it's sort of like it's half there i think that's what caroline's doing should we all shout and wake her up <laughs> uh, yeah caroline's falling it's a bit late for caroline but it's nice to have you here caroline thank you for coming <laughs> Thanks, Georgiana. <gasps> Just woke. I switched on a light, says Caroline. Oh, Caroline's awake. Woken up now. <laughs> um. If you have some matchsticks to pop my eyelids up, Linda, that would be helpful. <laughs> oh, is Debbie falling asleep? No, it's Caroline who's falling asleep, I think. I wouldn't send anything to you yet. Maybe someday watching you help so much. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's more for when you're at, you, th you you're sort of nearly finished. Now, let me, yeah, say, it's more for when you're sort of almost nearly finished, but you're thinking, what else? There's something needs to happen here. I know it's not quite there, or I think I might have made a mistake. Um, now, I promise, unless you want me to, I will not mention names. I will not say who has sent me what, all right? Um, you know, it's a bit like the agony aunt collar. I could be the agony aunt for stamp one she wonders, couldn't I? I'd be the agony aunt column. Dear, dear Auntie Ruth, I was stamping this sheet the other day and I came across this unusual stamp that I didn't enjoy. I don't know. There we go. Thanks again for all that you've shown us and tip share too. I have to go make dinner. Ah, oh, have a blessed evening too. Have a blessed dinner. Okay, so now my problem is, <laughs> I will tell you what my problem is. This stamp here, I don't always enjoy the whiteness of the gaps, particularly when I've used quite a dark colour like this one. I understand it's supposed to be like highlights, but really, seriously, you do not get white highlights like that on a blue flower. With that one, it's not so bad because it's kind of faint. But this I really struggle with. Just saying. So, in order to get rid of that whiteness, I'm thinking maybe a bit of balmy blue. And let's see, have I got a small... Check out my new small brushes, everybody. Oh, yes, look. Got a bit of blue on that one. 
give it a bit of a clean off. <laughs> Will the blender pen work? Ooh, it might do. The only problem I have... Sorry, I'm, I know I'm being a problem girl today, Sheila. But the problem I have sometimes with a blender pen is that it, it then dilutes the other colour. I noticed that when... Um, did you guys see me stamp the, you know, the deer from Grassy Grove? See, I have a problem with that deer too, because again, it's meant to almost be like, it's a silhouette, but then it has highlights. And sometimes I don't want a silhouette with highlights. I want just a silhouette. And so I use the blender pen on that once and it made the whole deer go a bit blobby. So didn't really kind of achieve what I wanted it to achieve. So, so some of the time you've got to really know your medium, know what the ink does, know how it reacts to different things to kind of solve problem solve. Because sometimes in trying to solve one problem, you end up creating another problem. So there we go. Hello, Miss Diane. You love the colours. Fabulous. Hello, Dee Dee. <laughs> face pouring is okay but if they stick their wing whiskers up their no your nose i presume you're talking about the cats there we go see so then they're, they're not looking so naked now look compared to that you see these little brushes are cute I like blobby as a description. <laughs> blobby. Do you guys not say blobby in America? <laughs> oh, we used to have a character. A, uh, there was a, a TV presenter. Gosh, in the what's it late eighties, early nineties. No Edmonds. He used to have a character called Mister Blobby. Mister Blobby was very destructive. Blobby, Mr. Blobby. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And yes, Martina, uh, not Martina, Sheila, you're right. We do need a bit of dotage now. So we'll do dotage. Do you think I should do the scripty dotage or should I just do dotage? Should I do half and half? So there's the tiniest little bit of cottage in here. It's almost too tiny, really. But I can't be bothered to get up and go to my shelf. How about Artful Basics according to Ruth? It could be a series. Ooh, I'm going to write that down. Artful Basics. So what would you like to see in the Artful Basics series? I'm going to write it in my stamping up notebook. Find a blank page. Artful Basics. My problem is I'm always looking for ideas for my classes that don't keep everyone waiting to use the same stamp. Ah, Audrey. Okay. Okay. Tell me a bit more about your classes. I asked N.E. to open out our nursery. He was very nice. Who's N.E.? Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, lovely. Good. So have you met him, Shaz? Sorry, I just realised who Shaz was on about. I was going to mention a pink person with yellow spots. <laughs> oh, oh, Shaz. Oh, 
you've met him. Oh, Queen Bee's not available. Oh, it might just be out of temporarily out of stock. Hopefully it's temporarily out of stock. Um, oh, corsets. Yum. I used to. some. I went through a phase of trying to sort of just be a bit not have so much pasta so whenever I would make bolognese for the family I would get a courgette and I'd get a a peeler and I would uh, peel the courgette into ribbons and that would be my spaghetti I don't want to buy that set for the scripty dotage. No, don't buy it for the scripty dotage. Buy it for the B and the... Uh, what else is in there? The happy birthday is really nice. This is really nice. So actually, if you don't buy decorative borders, you don't necessarily need that if you've got this one. No, there's loads more reasons to buy this. The little crown. This is going to be good at Easter. I'll put a little crown on a cross, I think. You know what? I've just noticed that little flower. I don't think I have ever. Have I ever? Ever? Oh, yes, I have. A little bit there. I can see a bit of ink on it. But I've not used it recently. I was going to... Oh, sorry. I'm just rereading the comments I've already read. So what I'm tending to do... Sorry, I should be explaining what I'm doing here. Is where I've got quite a bit of blue already there, I'm doing full strength Knight of Navy over the top of, of that. But then where I've got sort of paler sections where I know that a stamped off Knight of Navy will show, then I'm stamping it there. Okay, so I should have explained that. I know, poor Caroline doesn't like the bee. She gets triggered every time she sees it. Apparently it looks like a hornet. So I do not blame her, because hornets are not nice, especially if you get bitten by one. Not but bitten, stung. Right, let's do a little bit of the... We call this the, the, it's like spider poo. Who, who, who noticed it? Who, I'm, I can't be the only person. Okay. You know, white, nice white framed windows. You go to clean it and you spot spider poo. Has anyone ever, ever, ever wondered what those little brown dots were? On your windowsills? On your windows. Blooming spider poo. And I'm not an anti-spider person, per se. You know, I think spiders have their places. Um, you know, on my walls, that's fine. I don't mind. But um, I'd rather they didn't poo there. But it comes off with a bit of a wipe and a, you know, a bit of detergent. It's okay. I'm just going, having some happy times with my little spider poo stamp here now. Okay. So, <laughs> this, we'll rename the video, yeah? The fetal pig and the spider poo stamp. Okay, I'll stop saying the P word now. Because uh, it's very, it's actually very nice. It's It's nice to be able to control where one stamps the dotage very controlled way you know just to have some sort of floating off you can look you can kind of make it do that which is more like fairy dust then isn't it you thought it was fly poo oh it might be fly poo i don't think i don't think flies pee that uh, poo that big i thought spiders Uh, 
Uh, horsefly. Sorry, Caroline. Horsefly. What did I say? Mind you, ticks as well. Ugh. Ugh. I've never been bitten by one. But um, I, I hear they're not good. Especially because they... Was it they? Do they... Um, you can get Lyme's disease from them, can't you? You can be rather poorly. Right. Vicky Eakin says, I think I followed you all day. Oh, have you been hopping around different videos? <laughs> hi, Patricia. I've been watching since the beginning on my telly, but I couldn't chat because a friend called me on the phone. Ah, oh, hi, Patricia. There we go. Do we think we need more dotage or do you think we're done? Oh, I said hornet. Oh, sorry, Caroline. Right. Now, speaking, someone mentioned that video, the, the stamping I did that, that was based on a jewels coat. I still have it. Oh, no, wrong file. I still actually do have that. And nice segue, just to remind folks that I do do classes and that is... As I said, one of the classes that I do. So, um, I'm going to just flash at you the different ones that I've done in class, actually. Because when I teach a class, I actually demonstrate it and get you guys to play along. So, this was the original, that one. That was stamped on pineapple punched cardstock that's going back a while now isn't it and i've since stamped it on highland heather slightly, slightly different style i teach I teach in a slightly different style now uh, this was stamped on calypso coral this was stamped onto basic gray i've used half of it for something so that's why it's only half there and oh i love this one bermuda bay and then the last class I did, I stamped it onto soft succulent and used the two-tone flora stamp set, which looked gorgeous. Yes, yeah, starry sky is not quite as dark, Caroline, but definitely you could use it. Yeah. The only reason I didn't use it was because I made that mistake last night of re-inking my orchid oasis with starry sky. So my orchid oasis is a little bit dark at the moment. So there we go. Uh, take care, Debbie. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. And what's that another one? Oh, that's on Rich Raspberry. There we go. Right, so that was that class. Um, I haven't got one of these scheduled for a little bit because I've only recently just taught that one. However, if you're interested in coming to my Emboss Resist class, I will show you what you will do in that. Now, the first time I ever taught it, I did a whole sheet. We will not be doing a whole sheet because it takes far too long. So we do a half sheet now. So we do something like that or like that. I, I show you the technique anyway. It's, it's up to you what stamps you use. Oh, if you've got Bows of Blossom, actually, that's a good stamp. Bows and Blossom? Bows and Blossom? Is it? Or Bows and Branches? Bows and Branches. Um... That, that particular flower and some of the other flowers in there is really good for that technique. And then we also do what is lovingly known as the fried egg technique. That one there. So this is the class that I'm teaching on the 4th. And you need to have um, clear embossing powder for that. All right. So go to Artful Stamping Space or email me, ruthtrice at gmail.com, to book onto that class on the 4th of March not 4th 3rd no hold on let me just double check got to get the date right otherwise I'm going to confuse myself sorry 3rd sorry Friday the 3rd of March it's a Friday the 3rd Friday the 3rd Friday the 3rd Friday the 3rd um and did I say I was going to do it at Eight or seven, I can't remember. Let me just double check. Mm, hold on, bear with. Uh, 
I could do it at eight because I know that the Australians find it difficult to get to it. Yes, I've got it down for eight o'clock. I know it's a bit of a late night, but you know what? Friday night. It's all good fun. Oh, Patricia's asking, what is a jewel coat? So a jewel coat, <laughs> uh, basically, uh, there's a brand in the UK called Jewels, spelt J-O-U-L-E. And if you have a Google of them, they do really beautiful prints. I've got a, a top that I think some of you guys have seen with from Jewels. And I picked up a yellow raincoat um, from a charity shop. I, I loved it and I actually got to use it in New Orleans I um it, it just kind of like folds up and goes into a pocket and it was raining in New Orleans as it does and I managed to actually make use of it so uh, it's really lovely what colors did I use tonight good question Pamela yay keep me on track keep me on track okay so let's go through the colors all right so we did a really nice sort of quite close together on the color wheel scheme tonight and uh, just trying to find my color wheel no no not to hand okay fine um so as most of you know blue and yellow make green you know blue and yellow got together and green resulted so take care debbie uh, it's 20 pounds so uh that works out about 25 dollars us dollars about 28 canadian i think and about 40 australian so let's go from the top then so i originally started with so saffron and stamped the big blobby one from artistically inked this one here and then I also added some maybe that's what I should have added never mind it's too late now I use this stamp from Wisteria Wishes to also stamp some so saffron so there's some sort of nice sort of textured little bits and pieces here and there still showing from that which is nice and then stamped some leaves these leaves with parakeet party then stamped some of these leaves with granny apple green then went back in and stamped or maybe i did it before then i can't remember which was the order now pool party i stamped the flower and the sprig i cut that off so i just did that the flower and the sprig then went over it with so i've got a number hiding this is the actual number of this stamp set uh, this stamp here just to put some extra bits of blue on there then i got round to using that gorgeous stamp there decorative from decorative borders added that there and then went in and did some scripty dotage and some dotage with knight of navy is that right yeah so this was stamped in my orchid oasis stroke starry sky ink pad and then had knight of navy over the top of it and that's the second generation okay is that everything i think that's everything so sometimes it takes me like 10 minutes to do a stamped one sheet wonder and then sometimes like tonight it's taken me nearly an hour obviously i have been chatting to you guys so it wouldn't might not take you as long but um sometimes it is nice just oh what's that doing there uh, to just to kind of take your time and have a little play and just enjoy the process really of creating a bit of artful stamping which is what i'm known for really so a bit of a close-up there we go There we go. Lovely to see you, Gina. Right, lots of love to you all. And yes, email me if you want to book onto that class.
what's tomorrow thursday oh right i think i'll be here at some point on thursday Yes, I do plan to be here on Thursday. Friday's a bit, mm, not sure, because we're off to visit my sister. So, um, but yes, at some point on Thursday, I'll get on here. All right, take care, everyone. Have a lovely evening, morning, day, wherever you are. And come back and visit soon, please. So hit the subscribe button so you can find me or email me your phone number and I'll add you to my WhatsApp broadcast list. So... I need the scripty dotage, says Linda. Oh, yes. Oh, by the way, if you want to order any products from me, the links are in the description. Sorry, I keep forgetting to say that. And if you want to save money on buying products, join my team. You can sign up for £99 and you can get £170 of product right now. You've got until the end of February. All right. So you've got a couple of weeks to decide. See you, everyone. I'm going to do my goodbye screen.